Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. This is Tammy from cardsbytlc.com where I blog, offer online classes, as well as step-by-step -step tutorials on my projects. So today is project number three out of the ice cream bundle series. How fun has this series been? Now, if this is your first time here, you guys, and you missed my other two videos on this series, I will be sure to pop the the links down in the description box below. But as I mentioned in the past two videos, this ice cream bundle is super cute. And it can actually um, be found in the Stampin' Up! mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. And it's part of a series and it's called Ice Cream Corner Sweets. Um, but it has such great variety. I've had so much fun showcasing the different versatility of this bundle. Today we're actually going to be focusing on the um, popsicle portion of this suite. Um, and like I said, this is, can, be, can be found on pages 48 and 49 in our Stampin' Up! mini catalog. So um, today's project is actually, like I said, going to be showcasing the popsicle portion of this stamp set. It's super cute. Are you guys ready to see today's project? Just one second. Let me get this stuff out of the way so it's out of the area. Dun, dun, dun. Look how cute, you guys. I am really ready for a little bit of a warmer weather. Um, typically, we have pretty warm weather in California, but we're going through our little winter cold spell that we've been having. But hey, I will take the rain when we can get it because... As you know, in California, we never get rain, or at least in Northern California. Southern California has a tendency to get more rain, but I'm ready for just a little bit of a warmer um, temperature. I'm good in the 70s. Once it starts getting to the 80s and 90s, this little princess starts to melt. Um, anyhow, isn't this project so cute? Let's go ahead and get started. And as always, don't worry about the sizes and dimensions on the video. It's it will always be over on my blog where you can print out your own PDF and follow along. Now, let's um, go ahead and get started and bring in, let's put this off to the side, bring in, as always, the supplies you will need for this. So I have already pre-cut and pre um measured everything out for you. So we're going to start with our thick basic white um, card base at five and a half by eight and a half and we score it right at four and a quarter and this time we're not going to leave it at full card. I'm going to be cutting an inch off. As you can see there's like an inch cut off on this project. So I'm going to be go ahead and cutting that off but I'll do that in just a second. The next piece that you're going to need is Purple Posy, which you guys, I am so sad. This is part of our 2020-2022 in color series, and this is retiring in, on May 4th. I am so sad that this is going away. Um, I'm going to have to really start showcasing a few more projects coming up before May, um, but this is one of the retiring colors. So if you um, haven't bought any of the 2020-2022 in colors, you're gonna want to stock up now while you can. But anyhow, going back to the sizes, um, this is at 3 and 1 16th by 5 and 3 8 And then you're gonna have this strip piece right here. And that is at one and three quarters by five. And then we're going to be using um, the triple banner punch. This punch right here um, to give us that banner edge. And then we're also going to be using the layering circle dies. I went ahead and already pre-cut these out. But on the layering circles, we're going to be using the largest scallop punch or sorry, scallop die as well as the second to the largest regular circle die. And that is these pieces right here. Like I said, the largest scallop circle, as well as the second largest circle. And then the last piece we're gonna be using today 
is this one inch strip that's going to go on the inside of this card. Isn't this so cute? And then of course our luscious ribbon that I'm absolutely obsessed with, which I'm not sure if it's on back order or low inventory, but I will go ahead and check on that for you guys. Um, and then post it in the description box below. So we are going to do some stamping first and foremost. We're going to be stamping these cute popsicles. So I'm just going to bring in um, a couple scrap pieces. Maybe I might be able to get this on one of basic white. And the colors that I'm going to be using today for the first popsicle are going to be Highland Heather with Daffodil Delight. So let's go ahead and get started and open that. And then the stick that I used um, is gonna be in Sahara Sand. So let's go ahead and start off with stamping our sticks. And again, because I'm using the photopolymer set, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my trusty little um, pad to stamp on. I need to get a new color. This one's gross. <laughs> I think I need to get black. And I think Stampin' Up! actually has a stamp mat in their catalog for that. So I think I'm gonna have to order that. So let's go ahead and stamp our stick. One down below there. Oh, that did not go over very well. So there's always a second side to this. that and that and we're going to be fussy cutting these out um, but I may or may not have cut them out ahead of time because you know me and fussy cutting on camera not my biggest um, forte <laughs> so now we're going to come in with our Highland Heather and then I'm going to take the base of this um, popsicle and it's like a two step popsicle. And I absolutely love this because it has the base and the round part. So you can extend it out as far as you possibly want. We're going to make these kind of short though. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp off. I actually used um, full coverage on this but I kind of like a lighter coverage and you'll see when I show you the popsicles that I've already pre um, cut out for you but I'm gonna do stamp off and then straight down and straight up now remember I love this image to where it looks just almost like a sorbet and I absolutely love um, not a solid, solid image. Okay, we're gonna come on in with our Daffodil Delight. Bring that in. Stamp down, and then again, I'm gonna, this one I did a straight um, solid image, but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp off because I want a lighter image on the top. And then being photopolymer, you can just line this up and I'm hoping that I'll get this lined up just right for you because the camera is kinda in the way, but we're gonna give it a shot. Down, straight up, there you go and it gives it just that fun two-tone color. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my um, Highland Heather again because I'm gonna do the little spots that go on there. Straight down, straight up. Isn't that fun, you guys? This has been so much fun to create different um, flavors, so to speak. Look what I did. I like, I was playing with all these different um, colors and color combos. You can absolutely make any color combo you want with this set. I absolutely love this. So let's go ahead and bring in our 
next set of colors and I did kind of like a mint sorbet. The colors that I used for this one are Pool Party, which I did at the bottom, and then Soft Sea Foam, which is this top part. And then I came in with the Mint Macaron and did the dots. So let's go ahead and clean these off. I'm going to do this off camera on my icky looking chamois. You don't need to be seeing that on camera again. And that. Okay, let's do the bottom part of our ice cream. Again, this is in pool party. Straight down, straight up. Love this. This is so much fun. Come in with a uh, soft sea foam. Let's bring this down here a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. Straight down, straight up. See, that one kind of did a little bit longer so you could see that what I was talking about as far as lengthening the popsicle, it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to come in with my mint macaron for my um, spots. And there you go. And like I said, at this point, I would take my snips and just cut along the edge of the whole popsicle. And for sake of filming purposes and my sanity, because I get so nervous with um, cutting things on camera. Look how cute you guys. Isn't that fun? Let's go ahead and get these stamp sets out, or stamp pads out of the way because we do not want to ink up our projects and since I've already done stamping, actually I'm not 100% done with stamping. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment um, on the circle here. And then you can see these little spots. That's actually done in um, Sahara sand as well as the sticks were. So let's go ahead and bring in our white circle and get that puppy out of the way. And what I'm going to do is just kind of prematurely lay these popsicles down just so I can kind of see where I want to put them. And then as you can see, the you're so cool sentiments will be in the bottom corner. And again, that will be in Highland Heather as well as the inside of the card as well. And we'll stamp that as well. Straight down. There you go. And in the meantime, let's get the little sprinkles. Did I clean that off? No, I did not. Let's clean my little spots off and then come in with my Sahara sand. And then I'm just going to randomly um, stamp around the circle. It's going to get covered up anyway. There you go straight down and straight up. I apologize for the door sounding in the background. We definitely have to um, fix our door and get some um, WD-40 on that. So I apologize for the door sounding in the background. Straight down, straight up. But that is life, right guys? <laughs> okay. Let's close this puppy up. I, again, I don't want to get the ink on. So 
we'll go ahead and adhere the circle die to the scallop circle. Again, using my favorite glue, the Tombow glue. My husband had no clue I was filming, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But that's keeping things real. And then, of course, got to come in with my Stampin' Dimensionals because I got to pop it up at some point, right? <laughs> Down. Okay. Start quickly building this bad boy. Kind of bring you up there. And then I guess we'll kind of go underneath here. Bam, cute. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, let's bring in my cutter really quick. And like I said, we're gonna be trimming in one inch off of this. So I'm just gonna line this up with the one inch off to the right. Make it a lot easier. And we can save this piece for later for another project. Look, perfect, yay. Okay. Let's start bringing in this little Thing and start building away. Bring in our purple posy, which is cut again at three and one sixteenth by five eighths. Again, this will be on my um, blog, so don't worry about that. Glue you down. You guys might notice up here where it says March host code. So I will have that on my blog as well as in the description box below, but any um, orders of 150 below, please go ahead and use this host code and um, any orders over $50 will be getting a nice little gift from me. Um, but I actually have a, um, a blog post regarding this description and regarding how to use the host code and what it pertains to and what prize you or what gift you'll be getting this month. Um, but I will also put that in the description box down below as well. Okay, now we're gonna bring in our triple banner punch and then the one and three quarters by five inch um, piece here and then we'll just trim off this edge and again like I had mentioned you're gonna want to flip your punch upside down just so you can see where it lines up to where it lines up just evenly okay Tammy let's put you in correctly and then flip you over and see where you're at there we go And voila, nice little perfect edge. I absolutely love this triple banner punch. It's one of my favorite banner punches. And then we will adhere you down. Line you up right along the top and along the edge because we're gonna come in with our ribbon next. My favorite ribbon. 
Oh, I absolutely love this ribbon. I really, really hope that they're going to be coming out with new ribbon color choices in this style ribbon. It is amazing. One of my favorites. Okay, and as I said, you guys, I like to cut off a lot because my chubby little fingers. Then tie that knot right at the top or you can do a bow. I typically just like to do a knot See, I get all thumbs underneath here. Come on, Tammy. <laughs> there we go. Like my neat green nails, you guys. My friend Kirsten did them for me. She's so amazing. I'm not typically a green nail person, but of course for St. Patrick's Day, I had to come on and get that in the spirit of things. Okay, so that is done. And then what we're going to do now is go ahead and adhere this along the edge here. And again, um, it's just gonna go right there on the edge. I don't wanna do any Stampin' Dimensionals right there and close it down. So I'm gonna do my Stampin' Dimensionals pretty much on three quarters of the thing. And let's go ahead and see what side. Okay, we're gonna want it on this side. I am a dimensional junkie and I am proud to admit that. I don't care, I love it. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> See what I was talking about, you guys? I didn't want to have that come down in the edge, so I'm going to kind of tuck that bad boy down. And then we'll come in with our final little strip here, and that'll be glued along the edge, and then we can stamp our sentiment and be done. And then I'll be able to show you the other project that I was telling you guys about last week with using the leftover cones when I stamped the full ice cream scoops on my um, bonus project last week. I said I was going to be showcasing what I used those cones from and what project I came up with as well as mentioning possibly a little bear. So there we go. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside. And that project will be done. And then I'll bring in all three projects that we did over the last three weeks in this series. So again, I used the happy birthday straight down and straight up okay there we go you guys see do you see the difference between the yellows I actually really like the stamped off version of this yellow I thought that this was a little too dark but it's just a fun birthday card to give someone very versatile give it to a, a male or female little girl little boy whatever you want to use let's go ahead and bring in all three projects that we did from the past couple of weeks so here was project one from week one of this series Mickey and Minnie ice cream and then project two was the slimline gift card holder with both of these. And then project three was just the popsicles. Absolutely love it. So are you guys ready for the bonus project for this week? Look how cute you guys. So 
I told you when we were cutting out these scoops to cut the full um, to cut the full ice cream out using this designer series paper. I absolutely love it. So I went ahead and used the hat from the ice cream. Look how cute. And then made a little party hat. And then I took our punch and cut a bear head out in cinnamon cider. And then I went and then I went ahead and used a three quarter inch circle punch in um, crumb cake. And then I just took a sharpie and drew on his face. And then um, I took a half inch circle to use the top of this party hat. Isn't that cute? And the ribbon that I used, you guys, was this reversible ribbon. And it's in um, Pretty Peacock, I believe. And that's actually one of the retiring colors. So I'm pretty sure that these colors are going to be going, or this ribbon's going to be going away as well. And then I used the stitch rectangle from the Stitch Rectangles die set. So much fun, you guys. This has been such a fun series and I can't wait to showcase um, next week's project with you. Um, but you'll have to tune in to see. That'll be a little bit of a surprise. Now remember, like I said, all the um, sizes and dimensions are on my blog. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching um, the third and final project of the Ice Cream Series Bundle. All of the supplies for this project will be listed in the description box below, as well as the March host code, as well as um, the link to the blog for this project, as well as um, explaining what the March host code is. Now, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, I would be completely honored to help you out with your crafting supply needs. And if you don't have a catalog and would like this catalog, as well as our upcoming um, annual catalog, which is um, starts on May 3rd or May 4th. Um, please uh, fill out the uh, description um, in the description box below. I will go ahead and link a catalog request as well. I hope you were inspired on today's project video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please <clears throat> excuse me and please be sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to click that notification bell at any time so you can let so you can be notified when I have any upcoming videos be sure to come back for next week's project like I said guys it's going to be a surprise thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you guys have a great day bye <music>